forget what it's called now. I know it'll show us on your map on the map, so I'll show it to you guys that way. Okay, so here we are in Kindle Road, and up here is Mount Ember. That's what it's called. I, I knew it was something. I was trying to remember what it was, but I couldn't remember. Anyway, so yeah, let's just go up the route, I guess. We can explore some if you want. We explore a little bit, but I think we're getting close on time, so maybe we'll stop soon. Okay, we snuck past her. That's good. Uh -huh, I got past you, dude. Let's try to sneak past everybody. You have to time this right, or you have to battle both of them. Dang it! Didn't work. That's appropriately for battle and stuff. Alright, Black Belt Hugh has a Machop level 37. And his other Pokemon is a Machoke level 37. Okay, so we gotta battle this other guy. Every morning before breakfast, I swim around this island. Cool. Whatever, you know? <laughs> anyway, Black Belt Chi. Chi. Chia. Black Belt Shia has two Pokemon. His first Pokemon is a Machop, level 38. And his other Pokemon is another is a Machoke, level 38. Anyway guys, so we continue on, and here is the Ember Spa. Light the fire in your heart. Anyway, let, let's go inside. For some reason I have hiccups. Don't ask why, I don't know. Soaking in the hot spring pool is th therapeutic, people say. Dang it. Have a look at my face. See how smooth my skin is? The hot spring's water keeps my skin younger than my age. Dang it, it's right at the end. It's like the last, it's like the second word at the end I hiccup. God. I'm getting a drink, guys. So this madness stops. Dang it. See? 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 Okay, so I'm back. I got some water. Let's hope that I stop hiccuping, and if I do, I'm going to throw my water bottle against the ground. I don't know. Or against my floor, or whatever. Hot springs go hand in hand with volcanoes. The ember spa here, well, I made it years ago. I hewed the pool right out of the giant boulder by hand. I was using this at the time. I suppose I can take a part of it. Or I can. I suppose you can take a part of it. And he gives us HMO6, which is Rock Smash. That shatters boulders as if they were made of crackers. <laughs> I like that. Like that uh, definition kind of thing or whatever. Whatever it's called. I don't know. My favorite part of bathing comes right up after this. I enjoy a bowl of chowder to warm me from the inside, too. Oh, chowder. <laughs> mm, ah, 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 this is so heavenly. The water warms me to my core. You should jump in, too. Go into the middle, relax, and get warm. Now, like he just said, if we go to the middle, we can relax. It also heals your Pokemon. The water is perfectly warm. It feels exquisite. Wesley and the Pokemon were fully refreshed. Yeah, that's just like a Pokemon Center in a way. Anyway, so yeah, let's continue on. I, I'm not. I'm trying not to battle all the trainers, but there is some that you might want to battle because they can lead you to items, which I'll show you on the way back. You know, it's before the Ember Spring, and I'll show you the move Rock Rock Smash there too. Let's try to get past these everybody here. My repel wore off. Oh well. Okay, so yeah, here we are at the beach of Mount Ember. This is the actual beach for Mount Ember. I thought one of these rocks had something in it, maybe. I don't know. It's worth a sh it was worth a look. Anyway, so yeah, here we are at Mount Ember. Do, 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 do. This guy right here, um, he'll teach you Explosion. Which is like a really powerful exploding move. It's better than self-destruct. It's... I think it does, like, damage 300 or something. Its power is that way or something. Of course, none of my Pokemon can learn it right now. 
on these two team rocket grunts will come in handy after the the Pokemon after we beat the Pokemon League. I haven't quite decided if I'll show you the after the Pokemon League in this yet or not because I was thinking about starting another walkthrough that I've been wanting to do for a little while now. And I gotta do it kinda fast because I borrowed the game from my cousin. He hasn't really wanted it yet, so I thought might as well do a walkthrough on it and I enjoy it a good bit. You look at my channel description, it'll it'll give it away to what it is if you just look. If you look in the future walkthroughs, there it is. You'll find it. Trust me. And with my random or with me randomly rambling on, we never really got to discuss the trainer. This is a uh, Poke Ranger Bat. She has three Pokemon. Her second one is a Gloom, level 38. And her last Pokemon is another Gloom, level 38. Okay, guys, I decided that I'm not even gonna do Mount Ember right now because. I guess I could say I'm under-trained because there's a legendary Pokemon at the top and it's like level 50 and yeah. I probably won't stand a chance and I think I'll just wait until the po I beat the Pokemon League to do that too. Anyway, let's just surf back down here. Let's try not to get ran in by a trainer. Because I really don't feel like battling any right now. They're a pain in my butt sometimes. Uh, yeah. And we see those boulders there. This is where Rock Smash comes in handy at. So yeah, let's teach it to a Pokemon, quick. Okay, so I taught Rock Smash to, uh, Machoke here. So yeah, let's just break down these. Sometimes when you break a boulder, sometimes you run into, like, a Geodude or a Graveler or something. But most of the time you never will, or most of the time when you smash one you don't. See, I, I'd smash three of them, I didn't find any. Anyway, right there's an ether. And let's see if we can get sneak past this guy. Oh, that's right, he doesn't move. Um, down here there is a full restore, I think. It's on the side here. Yeah, right there. Nope, it's match repel. Whatever, I took a guess. I'm sorry. I'm wrong, so what? <laughs> I'm not perfect. Oh, sweet. There's some. There's something to break. I'm running out of max repels. Oh, gosh. I'm running out of them. I gotta quit using them. I'm running out of them. Uh. Oh, I thought I wasn't gonna make it. There's some to smash, too. Curses! Ah! Uh, dang it. Anyway, this uh, ranger guy has a neat arena level 36. I didn't even catch his name. Anyway, Camper Bryce's last Pokemon is Eradicate level 36. This is the first time I think I showed you guys uh, Machoke in battle here. This is the first time you guys seen him battle in, on camera, I think. Anyway, let's try not to get ran in by another trainer, because there's one right up here. It goes in circles. It's a karate trainer kind of guy. Or, or, yeah, guy, girl, I mean. Jeez, fail much. Now, walk, doing this sideways, I guess we'll run, not run into her. She won't battle us, hopefully. Um, yeah, karate... Yeah, Karate Chop, Karate Smash, whatever. Rock Smash that and find a Carbos right there. Uh, um, so yeah, there's only one more thing I want to show you before we head back to Kanto. And yeah, I'll show you really quick. It's on one island also here. So yeah, we don't have to really go that far. Anyway, it's on the side of one island, I guess. This water is so still, you can surf on it. On the other islands, it was really fast, if you ever notice. But here we are on this little thing. It's called Treasure Beach. It's just a little island kind of thing, beach kind of thing. You can find a lot of items here if you have the item finder. To get the item finder, you need at least uh, 30 kinds of Pokemon, and then you... 
Okay, when I first recorded this, I miss, I did a mistake. Um, you have to go east from Vermilion and go across Route 11 and go up the steps of this building. And then, right there is an Oaks Aid. You can talk to him. He'll give you the item finder, but you at least need 30 species of Pokemon. Of course, I only have 22, so yeah. But anyway, if you want, you can find a lot of items here. Like I said, if you have the item finder, it'll be so much easier. Or you can just randomly go around the, the beach and just randomly click the button. I walked right into that. I didn't walk right into that. I surfed right into it. God, get it right, Wes. Anyway, Swimmer Amara has 30 Pokemon. She's going to start out with her seal, level 36. Anyway, Swimmer Amara's other po or next Pokemon is another seal, level 36. And her last Pokemon is a Dugong, level 36. Anyway, guys, so yeah, um, let's go back to the Pokemon Center kind of thing. Let me heal my Pokemon real quick, and then we'll talk to Bill and CeeLo over there as you see him standing. Oh, hey, Wesley. What kept you so long? Been out having a good time? Sure. We got it done. The PCs are up and running. The job was incredibly quick. Bill was one amazing guy. No, no, there was almost nothing left for me to do. CeeLo, I have... I have to hand it to you. You learned a lot. Oh, really? <laughs> well, there you have it. I'm I'm finished with the job. We should head back to Kanto. CeeLo, I'll, be, I'll see you later. Or, see you again, a man. Wesley, I'm really sorry that we sent you off all... Yeah, sent you off alone today. I promise I will show you around these islands sometime. I think I pretty much showed myself around already, CeeLo. Anyway, so, yeah, here we are back in Santa Bar Island. Hey, what was... Or wasn't that a long cruise? No, not really. It took, like, six seconds. My buddy Sealer seems to enjoy your company. I'm sure he'd welcome you if you were to visit him again. If you have a tripass, you can always take a ferry there from Vermilion Port. Alright, thanks for your company. Okay, that Vermilion Port, that's where uh, the SS, uh, SS Anne was at, you know, that we went on a while ago. It's this place over here, and there's a port. It's like right here or something. I... I remember in the old map, it was like that, so yeah. Anyway, guys, we did a good bit in this episode, so yeah, I think we're going to call it quits here. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And Pokemon Fire Red, see you guys then.